Courage. Courage. Yeah. Courage. Courage. I tell you what, speaking of theatre the legends, like she is one that's taken not only Australia but the world by storm. Caroline O'Connor really is one of our icons. She's performed on Broadway, the West End. She's even been a star of the blockbuster film Moulin Rouge. <laughs> have to put on that red light walk the streets for money you don't care if it's wrong or if it is right wrong. so amazing so amazing and now caroline is adding another credit to her name starring in the hit stage show nine to five and she joined us now hi caroline oh, good morning to you hi good morning how are you both good morning we are well. I mean, this is the good news that we all needed. Nine to Five, the musical, is finally returning to the stage in 2022. Yes, it's been a long wait. It um, it's been almost two years since the uh, first sort of acknowledgement of the show happening. So, um, yeah, can't wait, honestly. Tell us about it. Well, it's a wonderful show. I was very lucky. I got to sh see the show in London. And um, it's basically about these three wonderful women who work in an office with this sexist, lecherous, pompous sort of ass, if I may use the word. And they're just trying to sort of make themselves, you know, established and and and, and for him to realise their worth, which is a wonderful storyline for a musical. And so, um, yeah, I, I actually don't play one of those three women. <laughs> when I saw the show, there was a role in it uh, of Roz Keith, who's a secretary, and she's a bit of a pain, actually. She's a stickler for the rules and uh, is madly in love with the boss, Franklin Hart. And she does this number in the show that is just breathtaking, called Heart to Heart. And I watched the show and I thought, my God, I would just love, love, love to play this role. And they That's amazing. Too. You could have chosen any one of the roles and you chose that one. <laughs> I don't think I could have chosen. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> the I know you. You can women. choose whatever you want. <laughs> But you know how sometimes, you know, David, as an actor, that sometimes you see a role and you can just sort of connect to it on so many levels. You just see the fun that you're going to have with it. And so, yeah, I had my eye on that. And luckily, our wonderful producers rang me and said, we're going to do the show. And um, I was like, please, please, please let that be me. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Well, there you go. You did get to choose it. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> uh, and so, I mean, Dolly's music, it is so fun. And Dolly Parton wrote the soundtrack. So yeah. have you always been a fan of hers? Oh, look, totally. Who isn't a fan of Dolly Parton? You know, like, she's just extraordinary. And apart from being an absolute superstar, amazing songwriter and actress, you know, now we've... We've learnt that she's done so many other wonderful things in her life, mm. um, so many charitable things, you know, like the Imagination Library to help with literacy for children. Uh, she's also, you know, donated a lot of money for the uh, Moderna vaccine to to happen. And, and just in general, she's just got this amazing, bubbly, positive personality. So uh, how could you not love her? Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, no, she's infectious. But I, 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 I'm curious, because I've known you for so long, and we go way back, and I adore you and Barry, but I don't know <laughs> how you've coped during the pandemic, because I know how busy you two like to keep yourselves. I know how much you love this industry. How mm. has it been for you both? You're going to get me crying now, David, because you do know. It's been incredibly hard, um, even just thinking about it, talking about it. Um, you know, our whole um, industry has been sort of decimated, you know, where there was no chance of us doing anything. And I'm not going to lie, I found it incredibly difficult. Um, I was very, very depressed to the point where, you know, like a lot of other people, <laughs> I now have what I would call a comfort dog. <laughs> and uh, she should be registered as my comfort dog because I really don't... I, I don't know how I would have gotten through this without having this beautiful little creature in my life, little Lola. And um, just... It's been hard to try and stay positive, to be honest. But um, now, thank God, we're starting to see the light um, of being able to get back into the theatre. It seems a little unreal, and I almost don't trust it. <laughs> but now that I'm here talking to you, perhaps it really is going to happen. Well, yeah. that's all right. And you know what? Knowing you and knowing how positive you are, to hear that is really... Mm. It's heartbreaking, and I, I, I feel for you and so many of our performers and backstage crew mm. and stuff to work out there. But I'm glad that you're OK. And I'm glad we get to see you on stage yes. again. That's the best. <laughs> Bring on 2022. Yeah.
you know, I'm going to have to get off the sofa now, though. You know? <laughs> Mummy's going to need to stretch. You know what, what we need to do, though, Mama's, Caroline? Mummy's got, I've got my lovely musical theatre laboratory here in my house. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get on the floor and do a few little stretches and a little bit of a, a little bit of a scream. Um, yeah, it's going to be a shock to the body. You know, you just don't even know if you you know what you're doing anymore. Well, do <laughs> oh, you I think you know. We just have to. Get I a, think you know. We just have to get a role for Lola on Nine to Five. She just has to be there all the time. Get the dog written into oh, the look, show. I love that. You know, a bit like Legally Blonde. You know, where the little dog just runs across <laughs> and he gets a round of applause. In fact, that went through my mind. I thought if I could just get her to perform. Perhaps she could actually sort of make a living as well for us. I'm sure you'll find a way. <laughs> you and Barry work Show wonders. Dog. Can't wait to see you again. And thank you for your time this morning. Love to you. Oh, always a pleasure to see you guys. Thanks so much. Great. Lots of love. Yeah, great to see a smile on your face again. And to get your hands on some tickets to this must-see musical, head to 9to5themusical.com.au.